What's up guys, Rob Kuhn here, and today we're going to witness a hand between two titans of the game. One many like, one many do not. Doug Polk and Nick Airball. This hand has it all and the stakes are big. What will happen? Stay tuned to find out, but let's get into the action. I believe it was a 25-50 game. Nice to see their growth along with this channel, Rick. And it's been a pleasure calling you my partner since Day number one. Yeah, day. it's been a while. Kings uh, for Doug Polk. Five. Fives for Airball. Just for context on this game, they are playing 100, 200, 200. The 400 straddle is on. Also, the 800 straddle is on. As we lock into the action, hand number 108. Three bets to 14K. And we are definitely deep enough to go set mining. Our ball counting is stacked. Makes the call. All righty. So action opens up to, uh, I think I want to say Bulldog, who makes it uh, 2,000 with King-9 off preflop. Uh, Ryan Feldman goes for the very loose call with 6-3 of hearts. Airball calls with pocket fives. And Doug wakes up with the pocket kings in the straddle. I think he's the 400 straddle, not the 800 straddle in this spot. But just an overall good spot to be in, as a lot of people don't believe you in these situations. And three bets to 14000 over the $2,000 raise, which is uh, definitely a good sizing uh, here. Uh, Airball, uh, in a normal situation, could probably fold preflop, but he's just too deep uh, to fold. I think he's, you know, he could probably set mine. He's around that stack where he gets a little iffy. You know, if you only have, let's say, 100000 or 80000 or something, I don't think you want to necessarily call. But uh, with this stack, I think it's fine. Anyway, let's take a flop. No tells, Tesla. No tells. No tells. <laughs> I'm still up here. I'll go ahead and. I like it. I'll button it up for you. I like it. Doug will see bet the Kings. Down bets to 11. And Airball, still interested, quickly makes the call. On the flop of Queen Nine Deuce Two Hearts, uh, act action checks to Doug, who makes it eleven thousand into thirty three thousand. And Airball's already in a pretty tough spot here. Yes, Doug can have hands like Ace Jack suited or Ace King off or Ace King suited, whatever. But all of these hands have a ton of equity, and of course he can always have you know uh, more nutted hands, Jacks, Queens, Kings, Aces, uh, Ace Queen suited. Uh, stuff like that so i wouldn't mind just to see a fold from pocket fives here especially with no heart so you don't have the additional backdoor flush uh flush draw outs uh, personally i think you probably should just fold on the flop but airball says not today junior and uh goes with the call even though he is out of position against doug which is going to make this hand a lot harder to play let's take a turn Hearts come in, neither player with a heart. Doug's going to use a little bit. On the turn of eight of hearts, uh, action checks to Doug once again with pocket kings. If he had the king of hearts, maybe he would be a little bit more prone to bet, but pocket kings, uh, particularly with a club and spade, you know, eh, on the worst turn in the deck, uh, you know, 9 8 suited gets there, Jack 10 suited gets there, all the flushes get there. Um, you know, maybe Airball has a hand like a pocket eights that now hit a set. Um, this is just a very standard check from Doug. These are the kind of spots that you want to keep the pot small. You don't want to, um, yes, rivers can be difficult to play on a jack 10, uh, stuff like that. However, you just have to be careful in these spots and not be afraid to, um, you know, check and then face tough action on the river let's say the, the river's the three of clubs or something you're probably just going to end up doing a lot of calling so anyway let's take a river the pot control here and f 
after Airball checks turn, now checks River. I think your your kings are good here. Jack tens there, the flush is there, possible sets for Airball. So will Duck still go for value? Imagine so. Hard to call here if you're airball with fives, unless you want to turn them into a bluff. Oh my god! And that's wow. what I thought he was considering yeah. doing. Wow! 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 wow. He's Doesn't a nice hand here, Nick. <laughs> Turning the fives into a bluff. No hearts in his hand, blocking straights. Quite the ambitious play here from Airball, but it might work. Doug finds this call. It's the biggest part of the day. On the seven of diamonds river, action checks to Doug. He bets 38,000, uh, probably assuming that Nick isn't going to uh, check too many traps uh, in this situation. And, you know, and value bets the pocket kings. This is very reasonable. He, he, he bet, a, you know, 38,000 to 55,000. Uh, whatever percentage pot that is, uh, you know, it's Doug. He's probably making perfect plays. And then Airball Snap rips it on him for 100000 more, 139000 from the Airball, who has kind of been playing a little bit tighter these days. So, um, you know, old Airball, I think, probably just gets snapped off here where, you know, Doug is clearly in the in the tank here. And the spot isn't so easy because you don't you don't have the king of hearts, so you don't block some of the king queen of hearts combos and stuff like that, or the king jack of hearts combos that you want uh, you want to be blocking here. So um, let's go ahead and see what Doug does. As actually, this is the first time I'm reviewing this hand, so. This is tough. This is tough. There you go. Go back in. I'm not saying my hand no more. One, three, and eight, man. Give me some more spice, man. Wow, Nick. I feel like you're bluffing me. A little live pro Doug action. I like that. That would be correct. Trying to get a read. Will he go with his gut? I don't know if I can let this one go. Tens. Oh, he's so close to calling. A queen? A queen here? A queen here? No, you just call a queen. You gotta have like tens. No, tens for me. Raises. Turn this up a little bit. Tens are very similar to fives. This is one of those spots where I feel like I'm going to do the wrong thing no matter what I do. You guys have to find coin here. I'll take it no, I'll, oh, I'll show you guys what I have because you're. You I got. It's going to show the kings. Airball doesn't flinch. Nick. It's always a terrifying feeling when people do that. They show your hand, you're like, oh god. One chip away from losing a hundred. $100, Thing is, I just think I don't think you would do this with a queen. I think you just need a better call queen. I don't think you do. So you gotta have like tens, or like ten nine, ten nine suited. What, what hand do you have that makes sense really? I only really have king jack. Got to be like tens. This is nicely played for me. I gotta give you some credit. This is this is a nicely played hand. It's a ballsy bluff. There's so many hands I lose to. I could have a heart. I just have a heart. This is one of those spots where, like, my head says you should let this one go, but my heart says, you know what I'm saying? You're in those spots. <laughs> <laughs> so I love this because, okay, uh, just to kind of break down Doug's thought process here, and and why it is a difficult spot is one. Okay, Doug is thinking in theory. Doug is one of the greatest poker players ever to exist, right? So he's thinking, okay, in theory, we probably just always muck because we can potentially have better hands to call with, um, especially when we have a heart in our hands. And he's also trying to just break down 
Nick's range. Like, you know, he's he's immediately saying hands like uh, maybe tens, jacks, nine hundred suited, something like that. These are the intuitive hands that make sense because they block straights, they block sets. Um, there's not too many other hands. Like, Doug definitely doesn't expect pocket fives with no heart here, just no shot. Uh, Doug's really putting that in his range at the moment. Maybe fives with a five of hearts, but that that's about it. Other than that, it's just a uh, it's just a very tough spot. So it, it's kind of interesting to watch Doug go from, you know, what is this player, uh, you know, when it, when he says his chest and his brain, uh, the GTO versus exploitative stuff, which you know the the greatest players are capable of doing. The thing is, I could just have a heart and put it in. If I did, I would do that. So, and then I would need you to have a hand like King. Oh, so he clarifies if he had a heart, he would. Let us know in the comments if he's calling or folding, folks. Oh man, this is brutal. My heart says that I, you're full of shit here. Intuition, baby. One for the call, two for the fold. Let us know. My heart says you're full of shit, Nick. I love Holy that. shit, I'm not going to feel bad tanking. <laughs> My heart says that you're just full of shit here and you just wanted to show down and then you didn't want to get value back. Hey, Doug, we got 20 minutes. Uh, we're going to have to hurry this one up. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Referencing last night's 24-minute hand. My heart says you're good. full of shit. But you could have jack-10, you could have a set, you could have a flush. You have a lot of hands. When you turn a queen to a block, you got to have, like... I think I'm gonna let this one go. I'm gonna feel so bad about it though if I'm wrong. Because my heart's gonna be the wrong thing. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta listen to your gut. Oh, oh! I hate doing it. I hate holding anything ever. Oh! I just have a heart though. I could have aces or kings with a heart, and I would just put it in if I had that. That would be so good for TV. <sighs> I would just put it in if I had that. Doug is good for me. He's made for TV. You know what? You know what's the worst part about this? What's that? If I fold and he's bluffing, the celebration that's about to come. <laughs> in, you know? He's gonna helicopter those cards. I don't even know where they're gonna land. <laughs> and then, and then it's gonna be like, it's gonna be, I'm the greatest. It's gonna be a lot. I'm the greatest. Chat. What do you guys think he's gonna do? Will he call? Will he fold? I don't know personally what he even does. I, it, it seems like he's going to fall without a heart based on how he's talking in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Would you call? Would you fold? Obviously it's easy to see when the, the cards are face up. Uh, and while you're down there, please click the subscribe button as it helps the channel grow. Look at him. He's just ready for it. It's like, oh, I'm the greatest. And I think he's full of shit. But if I, if I put it in with this, I put it in with everything. And I just can't do that. Oh my God. I hate my life. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this more than when I folded the queen nine to you. Oh, my. Maybe <sighs> yes, I really thought I was going to win the pot on this hand. I could just have a heart, though. I could just have a heart. And I have spades, mad. I just have a heart. I have a heart. Is that the king of spades as well, which is not a good card to have here? Oh, that's a face uh, for radio. I put you <laughs> Lays it down. Here comes Does the celebration. Fold. Oh, Lord. Does oh, 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 oh Lord! No, 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 I fuck on you, Doug. Nick, if I had any, if I had a heart in my hand, you were getting stacked there, bro. Yeah, if you got a heart in your chest, you were getting stacked oh. there. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, the uh, river bluff gets through for the old air ball. Uh, yeah, I mean, not much to say on the river. I, you know, I, I never would have gotten there in this fashion. I guess if you're going to turn your hand into a bluff, then that's, that's how you do it. Well played, sir. Well played. Anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. Watch the Maybe you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Maybe you give me midnight. Uh. You're waking up.
Don't leave me high and dry.